Alright, if you're a beginner in this game like I am, then you probably suck at tuning. On a set of course at Competizione, you have to know how to tune your car. It's just, you need to. Each track requires you to know how to tune your car for that specific track, so if you're good at tuning, if you know the ins and outs of cars and how the thing works, then this game will be easy for you, honestly, as long as you're a good driver. Um, someone like me, I'm bad at tuning, and I am an average driver, so I struggle with certain things. And while keeping that in mind, I try to test drive every single car. And my previous video had me choosing, you know, my top three cars for... for... Ex for... my top three cars for newbies playing ACC. So this one, I, I took the four worst cars and then I test drove those and that ended up being the Mercedes, the Honda, Porsche, and the BMW, right? Well, I took the Mercedes out and it was honestly the most stable car of the four. I loved it. It was phenomenal to drive and I don't even want it in the same bracket as the other cars now. The Mercedes redeemed itself. I actually really like driving that car. Uh, so good job, Mercedes. Now, the Honda, the Porsche, and the BMW, these things were terrible to drive. And uh, we're going to start with the third car of the bunch, the Porsche. The Porsche 991 GT3 car. Uh, this car is incredibly un unstable. You cannot, absolutely cannot brake and turn at the same time or take a, a high, high speed turn and... Uh, expect to not have some sort of counter steer or just spin the hell off the track it's really really hard to drive um within the six laps of misano that i test drove it on most of them were dirty uh but i had two phenomenal laps honestly and when the car feels good when the car is stable it feels great actually the thing is it's really impossible to keep it stable and uh, it makes it just, it, it's fun to drive sometimes. It's fun to drive if you're just having fun hot lapping or just wanting to drive a Porsche. But the, uh, I wouldn't suggest driving this in a race. It's entirely too unstable. I don't know how to tune it to make it uh, not spin out like I ran over a banana peel on Mario Kart. Now, the second place on the shit podium would be the Honda NSX GT3. This car, there's... There's understeer, there's oversteer, it feels clunky, I don't know, I just, I couldn't get the feel for this car. Um, if I did, if I did manage a clean lap, it was a slow lap. I mean, it, it's just, I don't know, I, I just couldn't get a feel for this car. It was really hard to really see or feel anything on this one. And uh, that's why it's second place on the shit podium. First place taking the crap trophy for uh, this worst cars of ACC. Um, honestly, I was expecting better, but the BMW M6 GT3, it, it is by far the worst. It was one of the worst cars I drove whenever I tested all of the cars around Nürburgring. And again, it's the worst car here around Misano. I, I couldn't get a clean lap. And even with it being a dirty lap, I was three seconds slower than the Mercedes, which is just awful. It's clunky. It's just terrible to drive. It's bulky. I don't even like using the dash cam because it's just so bland. And the car is just the car is just big. It's just a big boy of a car, and it's not fun to drive at all. I couldn't really get a feel for the even the traction control and stability. I kept altering that and changing it, and it I couldn't just find. A sweet spot for this car. So there you go. The Mercedes redeems itself. The Porsche is a very fast and good car if you are lucky enough to make it stable. The Honda is nasty. I wouldn't even... I, I love the Honda NSX. I love watching it in real life going around tracks. It's a really sexy looking car, but I can never figure it out. And the BMW is just a meme and continues to be a meme even in other video games. What are your thoughts on this? What's your least favorite car on a set of Corsa Competizione? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.